Hi, Jordan Danger here from Girl Crafted. We're down at Stroked Ego. We're here with owner Kevin Martin talking about this really cool local Ottawa store. Kevin, tell us a bit about your store. Well, we're uh, located on Bank Street, actually very close to the comic book shop, which I know you know quite well. Uh, it's between Lisgar and Nepean, and we've been around for about three years now. And your store is quite unique. It, we've heard that, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've been around your store, well, I've been around the shop many, many times, so obviously I, you know, I noticed when you moved in, and I've, uh, and I've been a, a customer of yours. Um, tell us a little bit about what you've got going on here. Well, like you said, it's unique. There's a lot of things going on. When we were actually looking for a space, we walked in and the first thing that we noticed was the tin ceiling above us. And just the look of, we tried to get the modern in with the classic, which uh, the building really works for. So what's your best sellers? What's your favorite things to sell? Or your, the people, you know, what's the most popular that people come in for? We're actually really being known for our underwear. We can have a look at that in a little bit. But uh, underwear is our big one. We sell a lot of socks. Uh, we're a good destination for funky socks. Uh, Cufflinks and other accessories. Uh, shaving care and skincare are very big for us as well. People are starting to, or men are starting to be a little bit more like, you know, conscious of their skin and knowing that they have to take care of it as they get older. Uh, and clothing, a lot of our customers have said, you know, we really want you to start carrying some lines of clothing. So we listened to their advice and this is our first full season of actually carrying a full line of clothes. And you've got some uh, local brands here. You've got a sock brand I think is getting to be quite popular. It is. Uh, yeah, it's actually from Ottawa. The gentleman actually worked for uh, the government of Canada. He was in Health Canada. And he's designed his own brand of socks, which are a little funkier. And he lives right around the corner. Fantastic. And you were talking about, is it Koala? Koala, yeah. It's a new brand we actually started to carry. It's a, a brand of t-shirts. And uh, they're, they don't use any plastics or anything like that. A little more environmentally friendly. And they have a neat thing. Every year they donate a percentage of their sales to a local uh, environmental charity. And this year they're doing the David Suzuki Foundation. So it's nice to support them. Fantastic. Um, well, let's look around a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to give me a tie demo. I can give you a tie demo. And we're going to look at the shaving stuff. Yeah, show, uh, show the guys how to do the three-step shaving process. Excellent. Let's look around. All right. Okay, so Kevin, um, people in my life, I'm very aware of men in my life who are starting to understand that, you know, putting the, the Axe body wash all over yourself and, <laughs> and whatever, that's not always going to work. It's not always going to make your skin very happy. Right. Um, and there seems to be a, a real interest lately in shaving and, and having that sort of, you know, there, there's something for boys to do that's luxurious. Exactly. And so talk a little bit about what's, what's the basics. Well, uh, like you said, a lot of the guys now are starting to take the time to take care of themselves in the morning. I like it. It's like a five to a ten minute thing where it's my time. You know, I can make myself uh, ready for the day. I can do some thoughts and I'm just taking care of, you know, my face. Um, the first thing we ask people when they come in, we hear a lot, oh, my face is really sensitive and my skin is really dry. And the first question I ask is what kind of shaving products do they use? As soon as they say that foam stuff that you get at the drugstore that's a little bit cheaper, that's the first thing you want to get rid of. It's full of alcohol. It'll dry your skin out. So we brought in some different products. They don't have any alcohol in them, and a lot of them are paraben-free. And you know parabens are used for preservatives and making jams and jellies and stuff, so you don't want to put that on your face because you don't want to preserve your face that much. Um, so <laughs> we brought in a lot of the classic shaving. So classic shave to me is divided into two different things. The more classical shave with the, uh, the classical scents and stuff that you would smell that your grandfather would use using the straight blades or the safety blades and then with the scents like the sandalwood or the sea buckthorn. Or we also have more of an updated modern version of the classic shave, which is more of an updated scent and they use more, um, you know, chromes and stainless steels and nickel plates and stuff like that, which uh, with a little more of an artistic look that you can leave out in your washroom or your ensuite. So one of the brands that I was going to show you is eShave, which is actually one that's based in New York City. The lady that uh, has designed it used to work for a large cosmetic manufacturer uh, in the lady side, and she noticed that there was a niche to be filled for the men. So she's developed this, and as I said, it is a classic shave, but it's totally updated scents, which is something that I really like. I've used the, uh, the orange sandalwood actually to demonstrate, so I'm not sure whether you want to take a smell of that. Yeah. But Oh, that smells really nice really and not nice. at all like my grandpa, which is nice. <laughs> yes, not that uh, grandfathers didn't smell very well, but... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so what they recommend is a three-step process. So I'll walk you through it a little bit and just show you uh, briefly how to do it. And I'll tell you a little bit about what I do too. Okay. So the first step that they recommend is a pre-shave oil, okay, or a pre-shave lotion or something which prepares your skin. If you think of a car engine, you don't want to have two pieces of metal kind of going against each other without some sort of lubricant in between because it causes friction. As soon as you cause friction on your face, you get razor burn, irritation, and not the good stuff. So they recommend putting some sort of lubrication, and for this, I'm going to use a pre-shave oil. So basically, it's only about a dime-sized amount, and you rub that in, 
Not too much, because uh, you don't want to clog your pores or anything like that. Okay. But once that's in, you're good to go. So you just leave it like that? You just leave it like that. All right. right after that, you want to apply your shaving cream. So I'm going to use a brush here. Brushes are really good for a couple of reasons. They pull out your beard, which uh, gives you a closer shave. It also has hot water on it. So when you have hot water on your face, it's going to open up your pores. So the longer you can keep your pores open, the less irritation and the better shave you're going to get. Right. The second one is efficiency. Okay, I've actually got a little too much there. Sorry, I don't want to get any on you. No, that's all right. See wow. how much that foams up? Yeah. So for an investment of $22 for this size, yeah. this will last you probably close to, you know, nine months to a year, depending on how often you shave. Yeah. So when people say, oh, I use the, uh, the foam stuff at the drugstore because of a cost, you know, a cost savings, because yes, they are only at six or seven dollars. That's my, uh, that's my argument back to that. Well, in this way, you would know if you're running out as opposed to the spray stuff, yeah. which is always, you know, when you desperately need it, there's nothing there's left. There's nothing left. You, you push that and you hear the... <laughs> 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 so, so you would apply this. I would apply this. And then for a brush, the easy thing about a brush is it's like, oh, it's too much work, it's too much work. Actually, it's not. All you do after you're done with your brush is rinse it out with hot water. Okay, try to get as much of the shaving cream out as you possibly can. Whoops, and then drop it. <laughs> uh, and then after it's all rinsed out, all you need to do is make sure that it's stored like this. Okay, you don't want to have any of the water right. built up here because it'll rot the bristles and they'll fall out. If you take care of it, as simply as that, it'll last you 10 to 15 years. Cool. The final process that they recommend is an aftershave lotion. Okay. I like to use fragrance free, okay, because it doesn't compete with this. You could get another, you know, an orange sandalwood in the lotion. Mm -hmm. I also don't like it to compete with cologne because I know a lot of guys wear cologne. If you have too many scents going, it's kind of funky. Right. So all you do with this is just apply a little bit on, just like any other cream if you're putting on your hand or your body or whatever, and just rub that in. And this is to, what's this going to do? That is going to close your pores. Okay. Okay. And it's also going to provide a moisturizer. Nice. Yeah. As I said earlier, guys are really becoming a little more conscious of how their skin is. Mm -hmm. It's the most important organ of the body. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, so they recommend that three-step process. Well, in your face, when you're a guy, especially in a business situation, that's what you're showing off, right? And I mean, we are in a, a city that has fairly cold winters and fairly warm summers. So, you know, with the different uh, variations in temperature, it's really hard on your skin. Mm -hmm. So Awesome. Thanks so much for that. Yeah, no problem at all. All right. Uh, let's keep looking through the store. All right. Okay, so Kevin's going to try and show me how to tie a tie. Uh, I've never done this with any success. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. All right, so well, let's see how this goes. Well, we've got a fairly simple knot to do, okay. and it's called a Pratt. Okay. okay. A Pratt knot is really good for guys like myself with a very long torso because it doesn't require a lot of length. Because I don't know whether you've noticed before, some guys, when they tie their tie, it's like the bottom yes. of it's up here, and yes. you're struggling with a little bit of ribbon or whatever. And where is it supposed to end up? Well, the top of your tie is supposed to end up right at the top of your belt. Or sorry, the bottom of your tie is supposed to end up right at the top of your belt. Okay. Okay. So that's kind of where we're aiming for. Okay. Okay. I so don't have a belt today. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right. <laughs> we'll, we'll wing it. So with a Pratt, you actually start off a little bit in reverse. So you have the back of the tie facing outwards as opposed to a Windsor knot when you normally start like this. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Okay. No, I'm left-handed, so I'm not sure whether oh, you're no. left-handed or not. No, but I'll make it work. Okay. It doesn't matter because I don't know how to do it. Oh, there so. we go. So your shorter version is going to be your narrower version. Okay. So we're going up here. And you notice how, I mean, most Windsor knots you need about like this. Okay. With the Pratt, I'm starting off really short like this. Okay. So that requires, or, uh, requires less length. So with the Pratt, you start off with your longs underneath and your short over top. Okay. And then you just want to hold it like that with your right fingers. With my right fingers. Yeah. It's hard with the microphone. Yeah, I and now <laughs> critical error in choosing the Bob Barker mic. You have to help me hold it. <laughs> or something. Can you do that? There we go. We have a multi talented cameraman here. <laughs> okay, so where we go like that, and then we take the long end. Okay. Pull her up. And you're going to put it through the opening and pull all the way down. Perfect. Okay, then we're going to put our forefinger here on top of the knot. Yep, and then you're going to pull this over to the front and put it on top of your hand. So it's over in the loop here. This is like when I tried to learn origami in school and <laughs> it was equally Paper impossible. swan, paper swan. Yeah. Okay, and again I'm going to move my forefinger so it's over top of that again. Okay. Okay, so we're just holding it all together. Mm -hmm. 
Now the long piece is going to go up again through the opening, but it's going to come up yeah, close to your body. You pull it all the way through and over. And now the final step is we want to feed the front through the little loop that we've just created here. All right. And pull it through. Looks pretty darn good for your first Yay. time. And now we just want to tighten it up. And you How mess do you around. It up? It. Uh, you just pull on the back end. The, the skinny yeah. side? Okay. There you go. And then, I mean, you want to mess it around a little bit just to kind of keep it as even as possible. And then to pull it up, you just hold on to the back and slide it up. <gasps> That's pretty good. You're That's pretty good. Right. Yeah. Like I said, you want to just lower it just to loosen it a little bit if you need to or tighten it a little bit just to make sure you're there. And Tuck her down. Fantastic. I can realize my dream of an Avril Lavigne <laughs> sort of look. This there is great. Go. Yeah. The purple actually that. doesn't look too bad with the shirt. No, too. it doesn't. <laughs> look at me, fashionable. Now, I hope I can remember how to do that because I can impress people. There you go. Awesome. Thanks so much for showing us Anytime. that. Anytime. Um, all right. Well, I guess we're going to sign off here. Uh, thanks again to Kevin for showing us around Stroked Ego. Uh, fantastic local store. Support your local stores and come down and visit. And there's so much cool stuff. Like, we're just we're gonna try and show you a whole bunch of stuff really quickly, but you know everything from bow ties to the incredibly exciting array of underwear. Um, <laughs> I don't have much to say exactly. <laughs> I'm turning red, and uh, incredible bags and just so much cool stuff. Um, you know, if you've got a, a special guy or you are a special guy or you've got you know someone special who who likes to look pretty dapper, this is the place to come. So thanks so much. Signing off from Girl Crafted. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm.